What is going on guys? My name is Ernie, this is my YouTube channel, and today we are live in Bodega Bay, California, guys. My first time, and another collaboration, guys. I am with my buddy Chris, Crispy Fish. Hey man, tell us what we're gonna be doing today. That's right, so like Ernie said, we're out in Bodega Bay today. We're probably gonna head down south a little bit towards uh, like Tomales Point, Elephant Rock, 10 Mile area. Plan for today is troll around for some salmon. We don't know what the day will bring us though. Could end up going for some lingcod or halibut later on. Different so, type of species, it's pretty cool. That's so. right. Just uh, another fun fishing adventure for me out here and happy to have Ernie with me. Right on, man. So we're actually on his brand new boat. Tell him about your boat a little bit, man. Yeah, 2007 so North River Seahawk, the 20 foot. Uh, love it, man. It's, it's a lot better than my last boat for going out in the ocean here. Yeah. Right on. So yeah. anyways, guys, Let's get out there. We actually have about a 20, 25 minute drive to where Chris is gonna be bringing us. So stay tuned and hopefully we could hook up to some fish, guys. We'll see you later. What's up guys, we just got to our grounds. We're actually gonna set up our three poles since there is three anglers on here, guys. So Chris is actually gonna be rigging up mine first right now. So he's gonna explain to you guys um, on his setup the way he does it, because I'm gonna be doing it his way. Um, so here you go. So uh, we're gonna get all three poles set up the same thing. Pyramid flasher, uh, down to a crippled anchovy. I like the glow head, uh, gives me a lot of success. So we're gonna be putting this out today, all three rods. So uh, we'll be you know spreading out the depth on the two down riggers. Uh, what depth are we right now, Chris? We are 110 feet. 110 feet. So we'll probably be targeting water maybe about 80 feet deep, 90 feet deep. We'll probably be fishing from 40 to 80 feet down, I would think. So yeah, oh, here's how you bait it up. You uh, put the anchovy in. It fits in better one way than the other. So always check that. So that's the, the better way right there. It just goes in all the way. Then you'll have this red pin here. You stick it through and that's going to hold the fish in place and it comes out on the other side right there um, and then the lines tighten here because there's a toothpick right there that holds the line and you're going to set it back about right there pull up and just that's too much of a bed a little less just like so and then i'll snap a rubber band on that back hook to keep it just like that so we'll go ahead and drop those down and we'll troll about three and a half miles per hour. All right, little update here, guys. So we got Chris. He actually finished up setting up our rods here. Like I said, we got all three rods, one per angler on this boat. So we're officially, uh, we're fishing officially right now. It's about 7.50 in the morning. So that's a pretty good start already, guys. Uh, we do have, you know, as you guys can notice, overcast skies. Actually, we can't really tell. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is fog, but it is California right now, guys. You guys know about these fires, what's going on. So I'm pretty sure that um, the ash or the smoke has obviously a lot to do with how it looks like right now. So we're hoping that the wind dies down, don't you think? Yeah, I think, you know, now the uh, sun's kind of coming up a little bit. The wind usually dies down and we'll be good for a few hours. Yeah, so everything's looking pretty good. So, hey, we're fishing early in the morning. Hopefully we get uh, these nice size uh, trophy salmon running through. So uh, see if we could get some luck on here, guys. Up for the first time, and it's been about three hours. Yeah, three hours about. How's it feel, Chris? Uh, it feels pretty good. Okay. Nice, man. Bring up that. Good eye by Chris, man. You saw that go down. Doesn't doesn't feel like a the like, 20 pound variety like what we were talking about but hey man anything's good right now especially we've been on a dry spell for what three hours so we'll take it so we go, 
Yeah, he's still a little shy. Yeah, still a little shy. Feels good to see uh, some color, man. Beautiful one, are you kidding me? Woohoo! It's hot, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That's a hog right there, nice and uh, nice and loaded. Yeah, there's Check that out, guys. He wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't going anywhere. My guess is we got about a probably 12 pounder here. Nice. First one on the deck, guys. Took a while. When there's one, there's more though. Let's do this. Stomach's full. Yeah, it is. Looks like some trophies in there for sure. Look at that. Check that out, guys. Even a squid. Even a squid yeah. Nice little squid. Check that out, guys. There we go. Some calamari he was having. <laughs> funny. That's cool, man. All right, what's up, guys? All right, it's been about five hours out here, and uh, we only got one salmon on board. We have the other Chris. Um, that's actually navigating this. He's uh, his rod went off, and he he was a lucky one to get that salmon. But uh, no luck. Um, scarce of bait as well. So we ended up deciding to move it on over, do some lean cod rock fishing, some bottom fishing technically. And uh, we already have Chris right now just uh, jigging down, and uh, pretty much what we're going to be doing, guys. I got my uh, lean cod on the bottom. We got a teaser up on top. And uh, technically also too, since we already do have a salmon on board, make sure you guys pinch those barbs. Um, so yeah, so let's see if we can get some uh, some fish on board. Me and Chris haven't caught yet for the day, so. I just wanna feel a fish. <laughs> That's all I wanna do, man. I'm used to feeling fish, but hey guys, still having a good time, so let's see if we get some, uh, hopefully some links, that'll be pretty cool. Got a fish on here. Oh, he's got a leg. Chris got something. There you go, guys. Good freak. You're on. <laughs> now it's oh, just me left. Uh, are you on? Yeah, yeah he's awesome. got that. sizes right there uh, honestly check that out guys pretty cool that was perfect size right there that deserves an Instagram pick right there <laughs> that is good. dude that's sick look at it freaking ripped his mouth oh. 
Comes out nice with the barbless. All right. What is this? The yeah. And then the question is, is that a keeper, Chris? Looks like it. Uh, a little close to gaff. A little, little close to gaff. Go ahead and grab him by the... Yeah. No, just grab, grab it by the, the swivel. Yeah. Oh, I got a keeper. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is going to be that big hit. Pull that out of there. There it is! Octopus, Octopus. guys. Ah, I think we're 23 on this one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 23 and a half. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's for sure. He's over. Nice. Nice, brother. In the box. Look at that beautiful man, are you freaking serious? Yo, look at this monster, bro. Here you go, brother. This is yours. Look at that, guys. And it did. <laughs> wow, that's a beast, bro. That. Wow, what do you have to say that's about that? Nice that's a nice 30, that's my biggest 31, ever. 32. That's my biggest sling ever. Come over here sure. in the mouth, Chris. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He's got a squid in there. Holy a whole bunch stuff. of food. Anchovies. Man, that guy is. Really? He's got everything in there. Wow, oh, man. It's like a freaking uh, all seafood, all you can eat, man. Good <laughs> 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 thing. It's a buffet. <laughs> seafood brisk in there. What? It's a buffet. Right on. That's beautiful, nice. man. So we'll get, let's give this big one a measure. A super sized link cod. Look at that, guys. Let's put his mouth to the tip. Close the mouth. 30 inches. 30 inches, man. Nice. That's a double digit, guys. Nice. All right, guys, we just got back to the land. This is the actual, uh, what is this called, Chris? Oh, uh, this is called West Side. The West in Side Bodega Bay. in Bodega Bay, guys. So once again, this is his home grounds, not mine. I got the invite, man. I appreciate you. Uh, we're actually first time collaborating. We've been doing it about back and forth emails, texting for about a month now. So we had a, it was a slow day, but obviously that doesn't count for a slow day, guys. I My mean, shirt's bloody. <laughs> look at that, right? So, that shows you like something. a pretty good day. We got nice size king salmon. I mean, check out, obviously you guys saw the footage of all these being caught pretty much. Uh, monster lean cod, two lean cods, all types of uh, rockfish, and obviously that pretty cool roll right there, man. So can't complain once again on a collaboration. It's always cool having both parties actually, you know, hook up to some fish. So as you guys know, I always finish my videos back at the house. Not too sure what I'm going to be preparing, guys, but I know my boy Chris is going to be watching at the end of the video. So I hope you guys too. And uh, once again, man, I appreciate being on your boat. Yeah, man. Brand new, brand new boat for him, man. And had a pretty cool time, pretty cool area. And definitely, guys, he's going to be back on my home grounds with Captain Paul. So stay tuned for that in the future, guys. But anyways, from now, I'll see you guys later back at the house. All right, later, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my house. And today, we have a delicious meal. I think I've made this in the past before, but we're going to be making beer batter fish tacos why not on a beautiful monday uh it is about two days after um, i did fillet the fish if you guys are interested i do have a couple videos of uh, filleting rockfish i'll put them in there, my link in the description below but anyways what we're going to be doing here different couple sessions we're going to be making the beer batter and we'll move on to the next section so today what i'm using guys is uh my favorite it's all your preference of what kind of beer i love the mexican beer of this modelo and also we're gonna be using this uh, beer batter mix, tempura. So I already have it measured out. We have one cup here, guys. They're gonna go ahead and pour in. And I have about three quarters cup right now of, of Modelo. So we're gonna pour it nice and smoothly. And then we're just gonna whisk it up to make sure you get that nice consistency. You're also looking for um, making sure that it's that, that if you need to add more beer or add more, or add more mix, go ahead and do it. 
So right about here, guys, that's perfect consistency. So check this out, I'm gonna lift the whisk up. Perfect, not too thick, not too thin. And we almost use a whole bottle. And what I like to do, guys, is finish it off. Let's go ahead and move on to the taco sauce. We're gonna do a very simple today. We're gonna end up just doing avocado tostito salsa. If you guys haven't had this, just with chips or anything, it's unfreaking believable. And so how nice and thick it is, we're gonna calm it down with some sour cream here, guys. So I'm technically gonna do this whole this whole jar in my glass bowl here. Let's go ahead and put it, as you guys notice, it's perfect for chips. Um, and also just perfect for these type of tacos too. It's gonna give it an avocado salsa taste. And so that's pretty much it right there. Put this spoon back. And then now I just wanna just calm them down a little bit. And when I say calm down, we're gonna be putting about, about that much. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up just to give it like a nice creamy, instead of a more of a thickness like what the avocado is. We're gonna calm it down. Obviously who doesn't like sour cream and this is like actually almost perfect amount that, that I probably added on there. So I'm gonna keep whisking it up and see the perfect, yeah, I think this might be it right here, guys. This is what, what I'm kind of like what I was looking for right here. Look at that. It's not too thick, perfect. I might add just a little bit more, but this is technically gonna be added, I'm gonna, yes, I am gonna add a little bit more. Um, this is just gonna be on top of our tortilla and this is gonna give that beautiful taste. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fish out. We're gonna look at it and we're gonna go outside and we're gonna be deep frying it in that beer batter, guys. So I'll see you in a second. There it is, guys. I did go ahead and uh, dice up this delicious white rockfish here. It's kind of like kind of like a cod, but it's obviously rockfish out here. Very firm. I did salt it, refrigerate it, took out majority all the moisture out, and we're gonna put it in this delicious beer batter. So follow me outside, guys. We're gonna be doing this outside in the backyard. All right guys, we're outside in the backyard. Let's go ahead and dip these guys in this delicious beer batter. I got the peanut oil nice and hot, ready to go. Uh, just go ahead and just get one one of your hands a little bit dirty. It's okay, just drip it off. And set it in there nice and neat. I have it about, I checked out the temperature. It's about 350, 365 degrees. That's pretty much where I want it at. And you don't want to overload your, your um, frying pan too because it'll calm down the temperature. So. But we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep adding some until they're nice and golden brown and we're just gonna put them on the drying rack. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when we get done here. All right guys, finished product, man. Go ahead and check that out. Perfect, golden brown. Let's go ahead and take the rest of the batch out. Drain them off here, guys. I mean, check that out. I mean, you can't get any better than that to perfection. Nice pieces that I'm gonna be doing inside these fish tacos, guys. So after these last two pieces, we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and make these tacos, guys. So I'll see you back in there. Check this out. Look at this. So we got the avocado sour cream salsa mixed together. We're gonna add this on top, tapatillo, jalapenos if you like some spice. And we whipped up, you guys didn't see that off, uh, uh, this was actually off camera. Cabbage, tomatoes, uh, carrots. Actually, the juice and the carrots that are coming out of this, guys, aromatic smell that's coming out, really good. Obviously, we got our little side lemons, and we just warmed up some tortillas, guys. They're nice and soft. Let's go ahead and prepare this here. So, just go ahead and put this on. Just do a little nice little dressing. We're gonna add the cabbage. Then the fish. I'm not sure how many yeah, it's perfect, perfect for one right there, guys. That's it, so let's go ahead and let's make another one here. You don't wanna overdo it on this on this nice sausage, man. I can't wait to try this out, guys, so. Once again, let's put it up on top. Perfect, and let's get another nice, decent, decent piece of fish. This one here, we could probably add two. One small, one medium. And, oh, see if it doesn't fall. I wish I had those taco stands so they could actually be, be on there. So anyways, we're gonna add this and a jalapeno. And we're gonna do a couple dashes of some tapatillo. All right, so there it is, guys. 
What do you guys look, think about it? Does that look not look good or not? Hey Chris, I wish you were here, man, trying this out with me, but this one's for you, man. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this out right now. Here it is, guys. I couldn't wait till we get on the table. Everybody else is preparing their meal. I am starving. Let's go ahead and try this out for myself and for you guys. So here it is. Let's go ahead and try this out. Tortillas are nice and hot and soft. Let's check it out, guys. Mmm, my God. No way. Guys, I say this all the time. Try it. Like, seriously, like. Oh my god. Okay. Avocado, salsa, tostitos, that, the brand that makes so simple and easy. Put some sour cream, guys. And of course, you guys already know, beers always go good with dinner. This is like a must try. Obviously, you need some spice. Oh, let me, let me do another flavor for you guys, another taste bite. I can't wait for my family to try this. Like, seriously? Simple, easy on a summer night. It took like, I don't even know, like 40 minutes probably to do. You guys could do it. Must try. Any type of white fish is, uh, <clears throat> is doable for this. But fresh cod, sorry, not cod, fresh rockfish, just filleted, got off the ice. Hey man, thanks once again, Chris. I think we're gonna be doing another trip out to get some revenge on some salmon. I hope we could do that, but that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing portion and collaborating with all these cool YouTubers that are around my whole local area. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at a thousand subs, guys, so let's go ahead and put that up. I am doing a giveaway at a thousand subs. I'll be putting that information in my link in the description below. But once again, that's all I have, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.